Okay, really quick video this time. This is me installing CentOS using the, a kickstart file that I got from the previous install. The first window, you might want to uh, scroll back to the very beginning, was actually showing that I'd uploaded the um, anaconda ks.config file up to my web server so I could use this in the URL to boot this installation. Standard as before, using VMware Fusion to do the installation. I've chosen the ISO, click Start, and when this first screen comes up, I've clicked on the Escape button. Escape button takes me to this boot prompt where I can type in Linux space KS for kickstart equals sign followed by the URL of my anaconda-ks.config file. Now all of the information that I put into the previous installation following the um, GUI menu was saved in this anaconda-ks.config file including the uh, Nigel username and password so I don't have to follow I don't have to put anything into the menu as you can see as this progresses that all of the menu options are have been completed already or taken from the config file Okay, jump straight past the time settings, etc. Here you can see the root password has been set, user creation, user has been created, and it pretty much chugs away from this point onwards until the installation is complete. You can also see that the keyboard settings that I put in previously were captured in the config file and therefore we didn't need to input anything here. Just getting there to finalise the installation. <clears throat> and 
and there we have it. So it's coming up with the reboot prompt. Everything's finished, no interaction, no input required from me because everything was in the Kickstarter file. Job done. As I rebooted, it came up to the command line because it says the minimal installation again. No GNOME installed here.